All right, our next plant is our first non-native plant, Rubus arminiacus in the Rosaceae. R-U-B-U-S, A-R-M-E-N-I-A-C-U-S in the Rosaceae, R-O-S-A-C-E-A-E. -E. Rubus arminiacus, it is known as, kind of incorrectly, as the Himalayan blackberry. Um, it's actually originally from uh, the Caucasus in, in um, right kind of where Europe and Asia um, come together. Um, Armeniacus meaning from Armenia. And uh, they produce really delicious edible blackberries. In fact, there's some over here. Ready? Okay, edible blackberries. Mmm, good. They have alternate compound leaves and these leaves have generally five, sometimes three, and sometimes seven, but generally five is the most common leaflets. The leaflets are serrated, and um, they are white on the underside, which is a very good characteristic. So they're green on the top side and white on the underside. Um, the thorns on this plant are actually um, prickles, um, have wide bases. They're pretty substantial. Let's see, they have wide bases. Um, and that's uh, not to be confused with the native that we're going to learn in a little bit that has slender thorns that don't have um, thick bases. Oh, it's actually perfect. Um, another great characteristic to learn this plant is that the stem itself is got um, ridges in it. It's angled. So if you took a cross section of this plant, um, it would be angled rather than circular. And the native blackberry that we're going to learn in a little bit, Rubus ursinus, has cylindrical stems and slender just straight prickles, whereas this species has ridge stems and thick um, thick prickles with, they're very stout, that have a, a big base right here with white underside of the leaves. You find this plant um, scrambling along the ground or growing on top of other plants. Um, it can be thought of as a shrub or um, sometimes a liana or a scrambler. And um, as I said, it's not native. And in fact, it's categorized as invasive. And invasive means when there's a non-native species that is rapidly increasing its range and its dominance. And you find this plant very, very common in the Bay Area, but also um, in many places in Northern California um, and some parts of Central California as well. And it, unlike many um, invasive plants, this one is equally good at invading um, sunny habitats, but also shady habitats. So you find it in um, roadsides and disturbed areas, but also in the interior of forests. Um, and it can be it can grow into these kind of impenetrable tangles um, that are very difficult to walk through because of the sharp thorns. Um, yeah. So just look at this big honking stem. It's huge, and it's got very characteristic ridges on it. See that? With these big meaty thorns that will break your skin, cause you to bleed. All right, to sum up, Rubus armeniacus is got compound alternate leaves with a white underside ridge stems and prickles with really um, big bases on them.